Hello, teacher, dear students. This is your professor Lazaro Pino, and now we are going to study gases. Well, you remember that gases generally are in random motion. There are collisions between gas particles, um, and they are elastic. In other words, there is no net loss or gain of kinetic energy when the particles collide. The average kinetic energy is the same for all the gases at a given temperature, regardless of the identity of the gas. While the ideal gas law deals with microscopic quantities of gas, the kinetic molecular theory shows how individual gas particles interact with one, one another. The kinetic molecular theory contains a number of statements that we are going to see right now, and they has to be with the ideal gas law. The kinetic molecular theory establishes that a gas is a collection of particles in constant motion. No attraction or repulsions between particles, collisions like billiard ball collisions. A lot of a space between the particles, and a, if we compare with the size of the particles, the speed of particles increases when the temperature also increases. Uh, there are several laws that study the behavior of the gas. Here we have the Boyle law that establishes that the pressure times the volume is constant. Then the pressure 1 times the volume 1 is equal to the pressure 2 times the volume 2 in two different states of the same gas. In this case, for example, we have that 2 liter of gas at 740 milliliter, millimeters of mercury pressure, and they ask for the volume at a standard pressure. Well, what is the standard pressure? The standard pressure is 760 milligrams. Then we plug the data into the formula for the boil loss, and we get that we have to find out the volume at a standard pressure. Here, you can use a, the pro, a proportion to, to find out the value of this value, of this volume, as you can see here. An example two give us the volume of, of the gas in liter and the pressure in atmosphere. And they want to see what is the, the pressure when the volume is 10 liters. Then you set this in the low and you get the pressure at this volume using proportions. Here you have another example that you can uh, study. You can stop the video at any time. You can study this and you can see that is the same formula. You plug this, uh, the data into this formula, and you get the incognite. The Charles law established that the relationship between volume and temperature. Volume 1 divided by temperature 1 is equal to volume 2 divided by temperature 2. In this case, uh, you can... Uh, Establish that the volume 1 times the temperature 2 is equal to the volume 2 times the uh, temperature 1. Here you have an example, or what you have to do is to plug the data into the formula, and always you have one incognite. Then, using proportions, you can solve this kind of problem. And here you have another problem. Stop the video, watch this. And remember a very important thing. In order to solve these problems, the temperature is supposed to be in Kelvin. Then, 
if the temperature in Celsius you add 273 and convert this into Kelvin. You have here another example and you stop the video and try to solve it. The gain loss at low established the relationship between pressure and temperature as you can see in this formula. The temperature also is supposed to be in Kelvin. Then you stop the video, you see this problem, you plug the data into the formula and you always will have one incognite and you solve it. Here you have another problem. Stop the video and solve the problem. Um, but we can have a combination of the different lows as you can see here, where the pressure times the volume divided by temperature is equal to pressure to volume two divided by temperature two. You have here an example, you plug your data, and always you will have one incognite. Using proportions, you can solve this problem, and remember that the temperature always is to, is, it has to be in Kelvin. Then if you have Celsius, you add 273 and you convert this into Kelvin. Well, these are the problems that you have to study for uh, calculating the, the temperature, the pressure, or the volume for gases. Thank you very much.